The clouds departed, the sun is shining, and a pair of rookies are moving up the leaderboard. Welcome to the latest edition of PGA Tour Today. For the first time all week, there wasn't a cloud in the sky, and players had perfect conditions for the third round of the Bob Hope Classic. Hello everyone, I'm Joe Cowan. After sitting out on Friday due to all the rain, the amateurs and celebrities were back out on the links. But it's a couple of rookies who are trying to steal the spotlight and fame. Las Vegas native Alex Prue takes a one-shot lead heading into Sunday's fourth round with University of Oklahoma grad Martin Flores and Bubba Watson right on his heels. Both rookies are playing like seasoned professionals as Flores didn't let the difficult Silver Rock course rattle him. He only needed 25 putts en route to a bogey-free 7 under 65. Flores will tee off at 10.45 local time on Sunday at La Quinta, where Prue shot his 65 on Saturday. Prue finished 16th on the 2009 Nationwide Tour money list, and he'll now look to carry his momentum over to Silver Rock. He tees it up there on Sunday at 8.57 local time. 36-hole leader Bubba Watson followed up his 10 under 62 on Friday with a 4 under 68 on the Palmer course Saturday. Watson knows if he wants to break into the winner's circle, a lot of holes are still ahead. You know, I had the lead um, yesterday afternoon after a day of rest in the middle there. Um, and you still had three rounds to go, so it wasn't like I was had a real good shot at winning. I mean, it, anything's up in the air, anything can happen um, with three more days. And now two more days to go, it's still up in the air. 36 holes is a, is a lot of golf. For more at the beautiful, sunny, warm Bob Hope Classic, here's Bob Stevens from the PGA Tour Network on Sirius XM Radio. The weather finally cleared on Friday. The folks are finally coming out. There's finally a bit of a rhythm to this Bob Hope Classic, a classic that, of course, is played on four different courses, and this year is going to take an extra day because of the rain delay. Tough to get any rhythm going, but we're finally starting to feel things take shape. Alex Prue and Martin Flores, the two youngsters, how will they take care of things now that the pressure's on, now that they're down to their last 36 holes, with so many guys who have won before chasing them down the way and well, with low scores should abound on Sunday. The courses are getting drier, they're getting firmer and faster, and the veterans may indeed take control then. We'll see. Should be a lot of fun as we watch things go on Sunday. And then remember, Monday finish to this 90-hole event. Awful lot of golf still to play. Thanks, Bob. PGA Tour Network Live fourth round coverage can be heard on Sirius XM Radio and here at PGATour.com beginning at 1 Eastern. Golf Channel has your television coverage from 4 to 7.